Hi, this is Sarah with this month's Wellness Moments. The month of September, we are focusing on mental health. When we're talking about mental health, it's first important to know what is mental health and how does it differ from mental illness? Secondly, what causes mental health issues or what causes mental illness? What are the signs and how can we help? The goal for today is to understand how mental health has an impact on your overall health and well-being and what you can do to keep your mental health in check. Mental health includes emotional, psychological, and social well-being, and it can affect how we feel, we think, how we act, and how we handle stress. It impacts how we relate to others and how we make choices that impact our health and our life. Mental health has the potential to affect our physical health as well. It can cause symptoms such as digestive problems, headaches, general aches and pains, and cramps. Poor mental health and mental illness are not the same thing. A person can have poor mental health and not have a mental illness. For example, everyone feels a little down from time to time and hard things can happen in life. A person with a mental illness can also have periods where they have mental well-being and they're having good mental health. There is a strong correlation between mental health and other chronic conditions. Mental illnesses such as depression can lead to increased risk of diabetes, stroke, and heart disease. More than 50% of Americans are diagnosed with some sort of mental illness or disorder at some point in their lifetime. Mental illnesses can occur over a short time. These are termed episodic events, or they can be ongoing and long lasting or a chronic event. It is very common for people to have multiple mental illnesses at one point in time. This can be depression and anxiety. There are over 200 classified types of mental illnesses. The most common mental illnesses include anxiety disorders, attention deficit or hyperactivity disorder, ADD or ADHD, depression, eating disorders, personality disorders, post-traumatic stress disorder, the schizophrenic spectrum or other psychotic disorders, or substance abuse disorders. Signs and symptoms of mental illness can include feelings of sadness, an inability to concentrate, extreme mood changes, withdrawing from friends and activities, significant tiredness, low energy and problem sleeping, problems with alcohol and drug use, major changes in eating habits, suicidal thinking, body aches and pains, unintended weight loss or gain. There may be some other symptoms that you or someone you know are experiencing. You should talk to your provider if any of the symptoms describe what you might be feeling. So what causes mental illness? Many times early experiences in our life, such as trauma or a history of abuse, can impact our mental health. Biological factors, such as genetics or chemical imbalances in the brain, are hereditary and can be passed down to us from our parents. Alcohol use or recreational drugs certainly impact our mental health. Our social, cultural, economic, political, and environmental factors many like what we have seen lately in the city of Dayton, can also impact our mental health. Diagnosing a mental illness is not as easy as it might seem, and it's not the same as diagnosing other physical conditions and diseases such as diabetes or heart disease. Your provider will complete a physical exam. They will draw blood for tests to determine if you have a chemical imbalance as well, but they must also complete a psychological evaluation. There's no way to completely prevent mental illnesses, but there are things that we can do to keep our mental health in check. We can get help when we need it and seek care from a mental health professional. You should pay attention to the warning signs. Learn what can trigger your symptoms and make a plan if symptoms return. For instance, if you have a tendency to be anxious or have anxiety, recognizing the early signs of your anxiety can help you manage your symptoms before you have more severe symptoms. Make sure you are getting routine medical care. Regular checkups with your provider can help you address problems before they become a bigger issue.
And remember to take care of yourself, get sufficient sleep, eat a healthy diet, and get regular exercise. If a family member or a friend is showing signs of mental illness, offer support and encouragement to them. All right, it's been about five minutes into the presentation, so if everyone wants to take a quick break, stretch. If you need to pause the recording and go to the bathroom, you can do that. And let's hop back in. Treating mental illness for one person is not gonna be the same as treating it for the next person. Plans are specifically designed based on that person's symptoms, the severity of their symptoms, what their past experiences were, their personal goals, and the outcomes that they would like to see. Treatment options include psychotherapy, medications, or residential treatment programs. If left untreated, mental illness can actually get worse and cause serious problems. Some of the signs and symptoms from more severe mental illness include extreme mood changes of highs and lows, withdrawal from friends and family, significant tiredness, changes in eating habits and weight, changes in sex drive, inability to cope with problems or stress, reduced ability to concentrate, detachment from reality, lack of interest in activities, and suicidal thinking. Our goal with mental health promotion is to keep people healthy, or if you are already healthy, to help you become even healthier through good mental health practices. Promoting mental health and well-being focuses on implementing policies and creating supportive environments that restore health services and enhance mental health awareness. With over half of us having a mental illness, you or someone you know likely has a mental illness, so you do not need to go through this alone if you are going through a mental illness, or if you think that someone you know might have a mental illness, you could provide support for them. But don't be afraid to ask and seek help if you need it. There are a lot of things in this life that we cannot control that can contribute to our mental illness. Some of the risk factors that we can change include substance use. Substances such as alcohol or recreational drugs can be depressants. Not using recreational drugs and limiting use of alcohol can improve our mental health and well-being. Chronic health conditions such as diabetes can also impact our mental health. Managing well our chronic conditions can also help improve mental health and well-being. Chronic stress also has a large impact on mental health and well-being. Learning good stress management techniques and managing our stress well with proper sleep can improve our over health and well-being. Lack of physical activity and a poor diet can also lead to mental illness. Being physically active and having a healthy diet can lead to improved quality of life and better mental health. Aerobic activities such as walking, jogging, or swimming can help reduce anxiety and depression. This may be due to the increase in blood circulation to areas of the brain that react and respond to stress, and that also control mood and motivation. Exercise also releases hormones that are known to improve mood. Just 30 minutes of exercise a day can provide health benefits and relieve symptoms of mental health issues. For those with mental illness though, it can be hard to find motivation or energy to exercise. So even getting three 10 minute bursts of exercise can be just as beneficial as 30 minutes of continuous exercise. If you are struggling with a mental illness, sometimes asking a friend or a loved one to go on a walk or exercise with you can be helpful. If you know someone struggling with a mental illness, offer your support and offer to go exercise with them or go on a walk with them. Make an appointment with your health stat clinician or your primary care physician today to talk about your mental health and well-being. For more information, please contact us. To schedule an appointment, call our scheduling line at 866-959-9355. Our clinic is open Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday from 7.30 to 4.30, Thursday from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m., or Friday from 7.30 to 4.30. Thank you for your time, and if you have any questions, please contact me at sarah.wiseman at healthstatinc.com. 
Next month, we will be talking about cancer awareness. If you have a wellness story related to cancer, please email me and I would love to hear it.